you might say today I'm a good person I've done nothing wrong but is that the truth one man said he asked a question have you ever lied before how many of you have ever told a lie have you ever cheated before it could be on your husband it could be on a test it could be on your taxes how many of you have lusted after somebody desired something that you should not have desired watching pornography pornography going to the stripper down the road hiring a prostitute the reason why there's so much prostitutes in Ethiopia because they're in high demand they're in high demand a lot of people want them okay but they wouldn't stand there if people didn't want to be with them they stand there every night because there's a lot of needy men people will spend money on the prostitutes that means a lot of people are going to prostitutes in Ethiopia Ethiopia have you ever done any of these things? Have you ever stolen from anybody? If the answer is yes, that means you are a sinner. You're not as good as you thought you were. And if you're not as good as you thought you were, you are not good like God. Which means you are not as good, you are not good at all you are simply a sinner and a sinner needs salvation a sinner needs forgiveness but you could be a sinner and take your chances you could say I don't need forgiveness I don't need the forgiveness of Jesus I don't need Jesus to die for me I will take my punishment when I stand before God some people think the punishment will be small I've heard some people say they will go to purgatory for a moment. I've heard some people say that hell is not forever. But the Bible says otherwise. It says it's appointed unto man once to die. And after that the judgment. You can find the judgment in the book of Revelation. It says everyone will stand before God. And your life will be revealed. Every deed that you've done in the flesh will be judged. I wonder what kind of judgment you will receive. The Bible describes it. It says everyone will be judged. And if their name was not found in the Lamb's book of life, they were cast into the lake of fire and brimstone which is the second death just a few verses before it says the beast and the false prophet will be thrown into the lake of fire and they will suffer forever their torment will not end this is the punishment of sin. Especially if we don't receive his salvation. Especially when you have a chance to be saved. You have a chance today. 
But you need to be. Yes. Well, we were going to go over there anyway. You have a chance to be saved. This is the day. The day is today. Choose you this day whom you will serve. You see, if you don't accept his salvation, then all you're left with is judgment. All you're left is with his condemnation. The reason being, you thought you were righteous before God. You couldn't admit you were a sinner. It's as simple as being honest. Liars will enter into the kingdom of darkness. But honest people know they need help. The people walking with me are honest. They're not perfect. They are honest. They know they're a sinner. In need of salvation. They know they're broken. And they need help. That's why Jesus was sent.